Hello lovely listeners, tune in to The Renewed Show with Charlotte. Make it a date to listen to me this and every Thursday at 5pm on Star Radio UK. Tune in to an hour of power, an hour of encouragement, an hour to inspire you to stay positive and strong in this season. See you there and listen. Hello lovely listeners, tune in to The Renewed Show with Charlotte. Make it a date to listen to me this and every Thursday at 5pm on Star Radio UK. Tune in to an hour of power, an hour of encouragement, an hour to inspire you to stay positive and strong in this season. See you there and listen. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Renewed Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited that you are here again. You know, this is a wonderful day the lord has made and we continue to rejoice and be glad in it my name is charlotte odum your host author chaplain and speaker and today it's you know what it's black history month october so there is so much going on in october it's breast and um, cancer awareness man and also black history man so i've got a very phenomenal woman a phenomenal guest on the show today but you know i would not come your way without giving you a word of motivation for my new book 365 days fearless i need you to grab a copy of this book it's on amazon it's on waterstones and also on my website www.therenewednetwork.org and also someone you can you can actually get it also on on Barnes and noble so if you're outside the uk You can still get it on Barnes and Noble. So do grab a copy. Self-help book, self-help motivation, inspiration. And if you are looking to get a word for today, you need to grab my book, 365 Days Fearless. We don't have long to go and it's Christmas. So make sure you are buying it to give to your family members, your friends, that special person. It will definitely go a long way. Today I'm sharing from day 287 and it says that the spirit you received does not make you slaves. Wow, this is phenomenal. And we are talking about Black History Month. So the spirit you have, it does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father, Amen. This is Romans 8, 15. I do give as an excerpt there, but I want you to, I just want to read just a little bit. Say, God, um, say that the key to overcoming the trap of fear and bondage in your life is by obeying God and believing in his word. Although you don't see it. Whilst the obstacles may come to distract you and certainly oppose what God has said, know that God holds your destiny. God holds your destiny. Someone, God holds your destiny. If you are listening and watching, however you are watching it on YouTube, Facebook, TuneIn app, please do me a favor and share the broadcast we need you to share share tell it so after i shared it on my whatsapp i said tell someone who is a carer to tell another carer that we are going to talk all about care and especially black women in care i want to say a special thanks to this food which is sponsoring the renewed show this food they are based in ghana and also we have mock blaze media our our show is all the beautiful flyers you see is sponsored and powered by mock blaze media you can contact them for your christening for for your wedding event and 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 photo shoot they are based in ghana you can whatsapp them it's plus two three three five four five two one double zero nine four ccc buy sell and export cc buy and sell buy sell and export they are retailers wholesalers of mary k cosmetics avon cosmetics and also juice plus so yes if you are looking to buy original authentic products here in the uk you need to contact 
CCC buy sell and export you can follow them on instagram and also contact them if you are outside of um gun uh, of uk is plus four four seven seven double two nine two nine eight eight four plus four four double two two nine two eight eight four yes and also someone if you are looking into getting into education i tell you that the best and um, education that you everybody needs to be educated even what we are going to talk about if you don't have education i'm telling you it's gonna be a struggle for you to even understand us we need to educate ourselves so which school must you look up to it is the london school of business the london school of business and they are calling upon everybody because they have a webinar that is coming up this very weekend and it says studying in the uk affordable way for foundation degree and master's program you can visit their website is www.isbt.co.uk or contact any of their event um planners or host is 0796057213 and then also david douglas leadership foundation david douglas leadership foundation is also hosting a program in ghana and listen you've got amazing um um speakers for that program which is happening uh, in near ups if you are in ups in ghana there will be buses everywhere to take you to the program yes so and we have our very own we have a very special guest who is also a santa caution professor pk will be a special guest feature who is a lecturer visiting lecturer at the university of manchester so please do well to join the david douglas leadership forum which is happening this weekend in ghana and i'm just trying to get um it says the atraco main auditorium atraco main auditorium somebody you can lead yourself into your destiny so let's talk about my guest my guest today is mrs olayin kashade um uh, so uh, my my guest today is mrs olayinka um mrs olayinka olarugude and you know what please do forgive me if i've gotten the name wrong she is an energetic individual a health and social care qualified professional with over 11 years experience a graduate of business management a member of chartered of chartered manager uk a trainer consultant and a cqc registered so on the flyer it says regional so i stand to be corrected it is a cqc which is the care quality commission so if you don't understand that a cqc registered manager and uh, she has a history of working creatively with people businesses conducting training need training needs analysis designing delivering and engaging capability development for all employees she is skilled in business strategies business development business consulting she has managed several businesses including the dominion consultancy group wow so she is the founder of black women in care having been influenced by the challenges and discrimination that her, her colleagues experienced within health and social care with the aim of making a difference so black women in care plays an integral role in repositioning and restructuring of inclusive and equal industry opportunities that enables her members growth so we have there are so many people i think i'll leave that for her to talk about later but she's an extremely passionate she's very extremely passionate about positively impacting the future of women and children all over the world she's an accomplished christian and entrepreneur so he said nima preneur nima preneur wow wow that's her own word <laughs> okay and lecturer and business consultant you will see olayinka teaching across Nimapreneurship courses facilitating her vision, her re wow workshop, and supporting women to set up their own VIP, which is vision inspired plan. If you are listening to me, don't touch that, that because there is more coming your way. 
wow or presenting across women empowerment events and conferences so everybody with much applause with much gratitude i want to say welcome and let me show some appreciation and love to my colleague for last Saturday, thomas thank you love you girl thank you so much so Ola Inka, welcome to the renewed show thank you so much for having me i'm so glad to be here and thank you for inviting me here wow thank you I've, i think i've said much and it's a mouth i'm i'm sure my listeners are really really blown away with all that you do someone will say what energy what what even motivates you to do all these things I mean, if you ask me, um, I would say it's the strength from above. Okay. Uh, because personally, I don't think I would be able to wear so many hats or so many caps myself. If I, but I believe that the Lord has given me the gift and he's also added the strength to be, to enable wow. me um, to utilize the gift that he has given. Um, so, oh, and if I, if I thought of it as well, it reminds me of the parable of talents uh, where there are different gifts and different people that five is giving to one, two is giving to the other and one is giving to another person. But the, the one with five actually came back with results. It was accountable. So I would say, and because once we have the gift, we also have the strength to carry it out. So that's what I would say. That's so wow. You know, and one, one of the reasons why I'm here on the Renewed Show, because that's the, the very inspiration God gave me why are you not using your talents after when the lockdown happens so why are you not using your talent you can be the most holy righteous whatever that you are mm. but if you stand before me and if you can't account mm. for the gift i placed in you guess what he will definitely throw you in hell Absolutely. so if someone you are listening to me that the reason why i'm here is to is to encourage you that come out with your talent because there will be a time going to work alone will never be enough for you Absolutely. you would need to use that talent so thank you so much for sharing that so um i mean we are talking about care and we are talking about it's black history man so it this is not a I, i'm gonna get to that question so i'll not run <laughs> ahead of myself let's talk about care you know when we say care what what, what is caring all about um so when we say care it is a very easy it is a word that we use a lot um probably to our friends we say I care for you um, to our family members to our mom to our children we say I care for you so care in general is just upkeeping is safeguarding is, mm. is a protection mm. and caring for someone is like taking care of them safeguarding them protecting them that is just a generic word but when it comes to caring there is an, another sort of connection to mm. that so when you care for someone you might not even talk to them for a few you know for years or for months but when you're actually caring for someone is an active word and that which is ongoing wow. um, so when you're caring for someone say so that is an active word that is ongoing and if I if I if I'm to define what caring is and in just general terms now so not as in the care profession so it's just a general term not as a profession yet so everyone cares as, at one point or another in life and it's likely that everyone's you know someone that's watching me right now you actually care for someone um, that might be your child that might be an adult that might be even your neighbor um, you know that you care for someone at one point in our life and even with the NHS and I know that I said I'm not going professional yet but the NHS actually did a survey and think and, and say that actually majority of us do care mm. even though we don't like to admit that we care but majority of us do care so I would say caring is you know anyone including children that we care for that we take care of or um, that we at some point in our life want to try and protect them from from um, negative things happening to them um so that is what care is so if i'm to go to into the care profession now so that's when the safeguarding comes in that's when the protection comes in so when you care for someone in that aspect you're taking care of their needs the needs of which they're unable to do for themselves which at a point in our lives i used to make myself as an as an example that at one point in my life i required someone to care for me mm. imagine myself being at the hospital bed i've just had my baby tired i needed someone to t probably take me to the toilet i needed someone to, to to put on my clothes for me and that is what care as a profession is so we at our point in our lives we would require care and also is likely we are also caring for someone so wow. I, I think I'll just stop there for now. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's really in depth about what care is all about. And I, I'm glad that you said, um, 
caring is an active word so it means it's something that is ongoing in our lives daily yes. you know you care about something you care about someone's health you care about your own family mm -hmm. you care about your own job mm -hmm. and wow kudos to nhs it, everybody cares about something which is really true so then i know we we we, we, we because of uh, especially because we are talking about black women in care okay. and i believe we can scope it around you know black women caring for their family black women but i just want to channel it into um the, the man who is a carer you know there are lots of black women who are caring so who who is a carer uh, who who i would say are there different roles of caring you know mm. in that health sector yes so a carer as we said that is caring someone who cares but also is including um, children sometimes we do care for children sometimes we care for adults and when it comes to care as a profession there are different ways that we do this some people do care for people in the community so when we talk about the community we talk about providing the care for people in their own homes and some people provide care for people um, at the hospitals, for example. So that's where we have the health care assistant. So whereas in the community, we refer to them as care assistants, or sometimes it can be a living carer. So there are different aspects to caring. But also, I would like to say the word that care is not just um, about care as alone. When it comes to care, including the health and social care workers, they are also caring for people, but they do it in a different ways and they are different professions. For example, within the NHS, there are over 350 jobs within the NHS alone. Oh, wow. There are over 350. So we do care, but the way we care is different. But when it comes to caring for people now, so carers are people that tend to the person's need, whether when they are ill, the support with the medication, the support with personal care, the support with shopping, the support with just companionship, just even having a child, because that's what, especially when it comes to social care, that is what it's about. It's not about the, you know, having a shower, making it so, Having a shower is very important because of dignity and hygiene, but also having a chat with them. That's when the one-to-one -one comes in. That's where the personalized care comes in. So when it comes to caring for people in the community, so people do that as well, which is, a, you know, um, you know, having a companionship, someone they can talk to. Because sometimes these people, we are the only person they see for that all day. And when we visit, so it's important that we are very passionate about what we do. Mm. So, yes wow you know um, it's and speaking about the roles i know some people would always see people um who are wearing their nursing uniform or doctors or even um and i just want to like like district nurses people really don't understand who and what is going into a particular home mm -hmm. and so if you could like break down with some of the roles that uh, we would see like as as in a caring like doctors because people think oh doctors are not meant to care i believe they are all meant to care in a way mm -hmm. just that people don't even understand that um um they in the care role like you are saying there are so there are 350 so awesome. can you can can i i don't know if you can say some of these roles you know that uh, that yeah. and that is only in the health sector 350 roles yes. wow so there are different roles within nhs alone and w when you talk about a medical side of it that's where we have the gps we have the doctors we have the uh, dentist we have the physicians we have the and even dentists alone we have they have different types of dentists we could have dental nurse dental hygienist we have dental therapist we have the allergy cardiology which are different roles so Whoa. when people go into <laughs> someone so one person might be it's not everyone that, that will be in need of a dentist for example but one person will be in need of this and with one individual so we have to individual we have to personalize it so one individual can be in need of a neurosurgeon for example they can be in need of a carer um when i say carer i mean care now as a care profession and they can be in need of a of a nurse for example maybe the person is diabetic and they need a nurse to administer the injection so they might be in need of that so that is still one person at one point this individual will receive care but in different ways wow. from these different people wow. but the, the thing about care professions and i would say this that the media are sort of made the there is this myth about caring that oh and um, people don't like to say that i'm a carer i'm proud to be a carer i've been a carer now and um, even though right now i'm a registered 
project manager but i've been in care for over 11 years and i'm proud to be i'm proud of my role um you know supporting people and that are vulnerable that are unable to do things for themselves and whenever i leave them it gives me that joy that you know i've fulfilled um, it's, it's self-fulfilling i would say so a um, majority of people don't like to be referred to as a carer or they are shy of that job or they're not proud of it and i would like to say that you need to be proud of mm. the, what you do because i you know all these people that have mentioned the dentist they probably only spend 15 minutes with this individual you are I, I always refer to my staff members that you are the dentist you are the nurse you are the probably even the the, the my refer to you uh, as the you know neurosurgeon because you identify all of this and then you report it to to sort of quote on a quote the professionals and obviously because they have um you know sort of um they have um um, this knowledge in a particular aspect maybe when it comes to dentists maybe in teeth they have this particular um, knowledge on it so they will, they will come to the client spend about 15 or 20 minutes and that's it they're gone but we we know this client we spend so many time so much time with them and we know their needs more so you need to be proud of what you do and wow. I tell you this client they don't take it for granted at all they do appreciate what we do um sometimes I would uh, but I'll come to that later <laughs> <laughs> wow wow this is fantastic there is something you said all the medical professionals you see are giving care they are administering care at their own level which mm -hmm. is something that you should take away with you today that anytime you enter into a facility anybody you see is is there to administer care in a very 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 dynamic way you know mm -hmm. and you know uh, I I think you've you've just said you know some all these things about who does that and and I would ask because you know sometimes just as you said people are not proud of it and um, to be called a carer and yeah. um, people are not um, bold to say I'm a carer and um, people think um, you know as a carer's role is the is the least which is considered you mm. know even though you do so much and you work so hard mm. so all i want to find out you know um with the with, with, with black women in care why is it black and why should it be women um so i would say why is black i think it's obvious because i'm black yeah. <laughs> that's not what i would say i would say that i've seen the challenges of my colleagues especially within the role and mm. within the industry and um, the reason probably majority of people are not proud of what they do they might be at the, as a result of the discrimination that they faced in the course of that role and why is women because we see even in um, a lot of corporate jobs we see that there are a lot of segregation in terms of mm. what we can achieve as a woman alone and let alone you're a black woman mm. I'm just gonna share the snowy white that you can you can go and um, find out yourself but the snowy white Peaks report and this report is by the NHS themselves it says that and they highlighted it they said in London for it just in London so I don't know where you're joining it from but just in London alone where 42 percent of the workforce are either black or other minority 17 out of trust at non-black boards so when it comes to boards, Whoa. we are talking about the executive executives. Level. Wow. There are non-black at this level, but when it comes to from the band C's downwards, you find majority of us doing the frontline role, but there are not many of us representing us at the top. And it's so glaring if you look at the statistics of the many people that died, um, unfortunately during the COVID-19, we had so many black women that died. At the front line um so a lady i was reading the news the other day she won and uh, she took uh organized an nhs trust to um to court and she won because she was defending a black woman sometimes we cannot say no to certain things we cannot say no to shift um we probably we're not you know because uh, the, obviously the manager is not a person of our color and they don't tend to believe mm, what we say so wow. it's about it's about putting that confidence back into that black woman to 
understand that we are here to care for you and if you're facing any challenges was challenges whatsoever at work we are here to support you and ensuring that you have the right as you have the access to equality like everyone else and that's what black women is about we recognize that our challenges we recognize that our discrimination and we are here to bridge that gap so yeah that's what black women is about wow. and i say this in acronym and we are here to care for you as you care for others and the c is championing your growth accolading you accordingly rallying for equal for equal opportunity that is the r rally for equal opportunity and e making sure that you are exceptional because you are wow because you are if you're a black woman in care you know i've got people everywhere watching i've got people in 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 germany watching who also practice care so i i believe it doesn't really st stay here because we are talking about a race issue you know mm. a particular race which is administering care Mm. so um that, that 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 is where but you know for you to f uh, be the founder have have you ever been approached is is it not being segregate segregating yourself or being preferential yourself because i believe everybody has challenges what is more challenging or what is more exceptional about this that you say oh this these black women they they need to be they need to be heard or they need to be listen is it no more uh, I would, dividing i know I I, 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 in my own um personal experience i wouldn't say it's dividing mm. as a matter of fact it's championing for equal opportunities and the reason i said that is because i founded black men in care because of the challenges i faced myself mm. i did say i'm a registered manager and i have calls from clients and saying that oh we want someone with we want someone with no accent so in <laughs> other words we want someone that is not black and sometimes when i speak on the phone and when they see me so my voice sometimes doesn't match with my color okay. and they're thinking they're probably speaking to a white person so when they see me like oh and because of my last name as well thomas and so the way they see me like oh uh so and you can see from the continents that oh i'm not welcoming yes i've seen in despite the fact that these people are in need of care and this is the client mm. aspect now there are also challenges from colleagues at work um so this is client aspect despite the fact that i need of care at that point in time but they're still saying i don't want someone with an accent of course they have their own um choice and this is one of the c's when it comes to care they have to make their own choices but when it comes to discriminating but not indirect discrimination that's what we call it indirectly saying i don't want someone with an accent so don't send me someone it might be a black woman it could be someone from um other minority group so i've seen this one and even from colleagues i've had colleagues saying to me that even though they are in a they're working with nhs for example they are in the top positions but also in the top position there are not many of us there and it's very 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 lonely up there and if there is anything that she says she get discriminated at and there's no support system mm. there's no one to say that oh sister i'm here for you and that's what black women in care wants to do we want to say we, we are here for you we're supporting you i've had some of the members say to me um I was due for a training that, that was even promised during my interview that oh we will train you we'll do this and during my supervision I brought the case of that oh I want to go for this training and the manager said no nope. and you see someone that started after them um, and they are more experienced they will get that training so we're not getting that training that we uh, you know we're supposed to get at the same time we not, and because of that if you don't get the training you don't get promotion if you don't get promotion you'll still be at the same um, position that you, you know for, for years and that's what black women wants to do we want to ensure that you have the right to, you have you have the right to this opportunity but having access and making sure you actually have this um, opportunity so we want to be the catalyst for change uh, by offering you new perspective and creating a legacy that we all as a black person can be proud of wow so, yeah, wow wow I'm, I'm so proud to be a black woman now especially a black woman in care because myself i am a carer a very proud 
Kara as such. So this is awesome to be hearing that. You know, when you speak about discrimination, if you just could that like tell us some of the forms of discrimination that black women in care faces, I believe that would be so helpful. And also if there are things because I, I, I completely get what you are saying because there are sometimes uh, I, I, when, when I was sending out the, 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 uh, the information about you coming on the program, I said, mm. have you heard that black don't crack? Have you also heard that a confident black woman, which I have actually quoted from Michelle mm. Obama's book, mm. which is becoming that mm. a, a, a confident black woman is known to be aggressive, mm. to be angry mm. or pushy or very, mm. or, yeah, or violent. So it, 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 how how are we, especially black women in Kelly, like it, 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 for me, it's not a shock, but mm. for anybody who is Caucasian or who probably doesn't live in the country, may be like, whoa, yes. But because there are times that you would administer care and they'll say like, get out of my room. I don't want you. But if it's a Caucasian, they are more and gladly welcome. So what forms of discrimination are we, uh, can, can we look up for? Um, when it comes to person of color like myself like black, black woman I'm proud I think we, it, it comes to racial discrimination mm. uh, there are different types of discrimination it can be uh, as a result of age it can be as a result of your sexual orientation it can be as a, as a result of disability um, it can be as a result of your nationality so when it comes to black women especially at a workplace it comes as a result of like victimization sometimes mm. and sometimes it's about your race and because there's a lot of um, black life matters now oh, and yes. a lot of we people we a, a lot of people are trying to become allies so they sort of do the ratio in a sort of way mm. um, just recently I've had someone say to me or oh, um, the way you talk uh, um, at a, a particular meeting or make just a type a message and he said it was a bit aggressive he didn't just say it was a very he said it was a bit aggressive then I was trying to get the words out. I was like okay can you just show me the part because it, it was a written message can you show me the part that it that sounds like you know that, that that shows it was aggressive and they couldn't point it out and just like they all said that wow. we do sometimes when we know our rights and that is what black women can want to do black women want to make sure that every black woman know your right at workplace and be confident enough to ask for what you know for what you deserve at work and that is including your salary that is including asking for that promotion motion that is including not being fearful when you need to go on holiday so i said can you point it out and the person couldn't point it out and this is one of the things that we face when they see a confident black woman they are being teamed aggressive or um she's shouting but when you have been pushed to a point where Oh, sometimes you know. My, I come from a place where it's called Lagos in Nigeria, and sometimes we can hear one another. We hear the on on going on and all of that. <laughs> but some, so we we, so we sometimes have vo my voice is loud. I would say, but when it comes to having a meeting or even typing the messages, it's I don't know how, but it's this is deemed like you're being aggressive. But you're not being aggressive. You're just telling them you know you're right, and then you would do anything to make sure that you have equal opportunities, and that is what Black Women is about having equal opportunities as everyone else and, and and this is black history month and it's good that everyone wants to become an ally but it doesn't just end in october it is, should be forever we have you know we are like everyone else and we should be treated equally um yes wow thank you thank you you know it's it's bringing so much to me i i used to work in a very prestigious clinic it was a private clinic mm. and i could count i think we were about three black women Mm. who were working in a very very high profile mm. clinic in london which serves the whole the whole world actually because of what they were doing okay. and so yes i i, I could because at, at well you you where would the voice come from because gladly i was i think i, I met per se i said miraculously because out of 150 interviewees with mm. people with phd and masters mm. I, I i god graciously put me there you mm. know mm. <laughs> i don't know what i would have said special mm. or I probably, i'm sure there was something quite unique on exactly what they were looking for mm. but i i could really count the 
and you know there were sometimes i i would walk into the meeting especially you know when the, you finish this meeting mm. and there is little little food that mm -hmm. they give away and there is sushi and when it's london life it's london life yeah. and there is sushi and, it, and then someone said you know what charlotte is not gonna have this sushi mm -hmm. so charlotte are you gonna have sushi i said no i don't i don't do raw meat <laughs> So what well, I just want to find I, I I I I want it well cooked, fried and mm -hmm. battered, mm -hmm. you know. So I wanted you to speak about the culture of the black women because mm. it it's a lot to do with um people finding it um the understanding and acceptance, you know, because sometimes you could be at a place where yes, they need your skill, but are you really accepted to work there? Mm. So if it, if you could enlighten us about what is the culture or what are, what culture what is the impact of culture on black women because like you said voice out talk express and sometimes when you try to express uh, I'm going to come down to where the playground is that is the nursing homes and stuff like that because mm. looking at the NHS in the clinic is uh, so I I would always say there's sometimes systemic racism you know mm. structural ones mm -hmm. but we can come home and play the football game mm -hmm. at the nursing homes and mm -hmm. all the all the domiciliary we have done i've done it before mm -hmm. i've been to, to house to house where you could they could scream at you hey go away and sometimes they can call you names you immigrants you that you that but where does culture fit in for us um so you mentioned something thank you very much for that question you mentioned something some you mentioned something very important earlier and you said something about being lucky to mm. get a role um, and that's one one of the things that people tend to see about a black woman. Mm. So whenever we get a position, oh, exactly. they don't see our talent. It's and not the talent at all. One. It's like you you go in there to fill. You know what? We need diversity on this in this place. Mm. So you go in there to fill that diversity, diversity positions. So exactly. Uh, in, in other words, your skills is not actually needed, mm. but because we want the society to see like we are inclusive. So that's. <laughs> while we have you there and you will you will speak to some people and they will tell you oh how did you get here i've seen my i've seen my cousins you know the people that i know speak to me and they work in big organization and people will actually walk up to them and say oh you were lucky to be here and then they will look at them like i'm lucky you were lucky to have me here so what well, first hmm. of all it, it's a, a real woman, challenge it's a real challenge a black woman needs to recognize her skills hmm. i come from a place where i do uh, and that's one of the things that i want to encourage you to do and that's one thing we are doing so black women in case it's not just about championing your growth for us to champion your growth you have to first of all work on yourself mm. it's very important that we work on ourselves mm. and i ask you that you do a SWOT analysis if you don't get anything from here today do a SWOT analysis on yourself so what is what your own strength identify your strength and your strength comes from knowing your self discoveries discover mm. yourself who are you and what are you good at so that is what knowing your strength what are your weaknesses um you know it, it goes to some stage and that's why i was able to ask the guy why would you say i'm being aggressive because i know my weaknesses i know that i can be very angry when it comes to some stage but over the years i've been working on it i would never be rude especially not on an emails or even in messages so know your weaknesses and also what are wow. the opportunities around you one of the opportunities is black money okay one of the opportunities is this uh, is star radio is renewed show so know the opportunities that you have don't say that oh i'm in london i don't have anyone know the opportunities around you and what are the threats the threats might be in your community it might be at your workplace the threats might even come from your family you never know but know your threats as that's one of the things i would ask you to do as a black woman so that's my gift for to you no do a swot analysis on yourself and also the impact of a black woman at workplace it is uncountable if i am to start i cannot finish today please start but, but and don't but finish one, one, but one is understand a black woman is skillful very skillful a black woman is confident mm. so once you have and a black woman is that uh, passionate about whatever they are doing and people can have different de definitions of what and you can see this even during covid 19 we are the one on the front line constantly working mm. over never hours, called off sick never called off sick mm. during this time so you know that a black woman she's faithful as well 
once you have party organization you will you would sure that even once she's there she will grow your business to another level mm. this was I, I know for sure because my when I, when I started with my organization and I work as a registered manager my my director sat me down and said that if you the, when you it was the year that I joined that we had profit we never had so you imagine what you have inside of you as mm. a black woman mm. and you know and the work is waiting for that manifestation of what you have so you have to come from a place of understanding who you are wow. so once you understand who you are you can then tell people about it or people if you don't even need to tell them they would see you know it's mm. like you know it's like a light you, you are a light and they will see that light and they were like wow you are incredible and you know a lot of people will say that to you so you are a great woman i would say wow if you're a black woman and uh, you know what we've, we've got fantastic support here loads of comment and 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 and, and black men who are rallying behind black women and everybody please rally behind or lying cap on black women in care and I, I would say yes because there's a lot of um women who care in terms of um, nursing midwifery most of especially hospitality is held on bound by a lot of women so let me take some few comment nana kanta kantaba say hello i'm listening to you live in tepa ahafu ghana wow. wow god richly bless you for listening and tuning in and Thank i you. have Ozo Francis Omaga Namani. Wow. Watching live from Amagunze in Enugu state of Nigeria. Greetings from here. Greetings. We love you so much. El Duplantis Echo Apostle. God bless you for joining. Say fire on. Watching from Frankfurt, Germany. Thank you so much. Cook Sam says okay it's uh, l mm, mm, mm. yes that's the sounds he is, she's making thank you so much cooks wow auntie abba we miss you we miss you so much god richly bless you she said my daughter your mom nanaba is watching from ghana god richly bless you please keep enjoying your holiday and come to, to us with plenty food <laughs> your excellency dory thank you so much your excellency god richly bless you amazing woman of god uh today she's the super nanny with her super daughter ivana god richly bless you for tuning in say greetings your excellency greetings your excellency i acknowledge you and um uh, ability plus capacity watching all the way from frankfurt thank you for tuning in um, uh, um apostle bernard prophet bernard diawara say glory congratulations to you apostle thank you so much man of god and yes the papa one if you see me on the renewed show know that my transportation all the trains trams and buses i must take to get here on the renewed show all the way from kent is sponsored by the one and only apostle thomas ojo yes thank you he is the founder of christ temple international holding um thursdays and um, bible studies and also on sundays 3 p.m yes please do inbox me for all those information he said this best summarizes what i have heard so far you need to be proud of what you of what you do or of you we are proud of you more grace in jesus name Amen. dickness magdalene Ekueme. wow i received this Ekueme grace dickness god bless you for tuning in she has put down some youtube link and then apostle thomas ojo says bravo excellent work you allowed your guests flow freely and efficiently to express her great mastery over the subject thank you so much Papa Mami Lizzie Inshira, Minister Mami Lizzie Inshira, I say hi dear, good evening, good, good evening. evening, we love you all the way from Germany, he says blacks are the firstborn, that's why we have more enemies, this is, <laughs> this is ability plus capacity, he says blacks are the firstborns that's why we have more enemies, wow, <laughs> wow, we will, we will invite you on the show to 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 tell us more let's talk about you know the people playing the game the big masters nursing homes you know nursing homes domiciliary we, they, we call it waka waka job you need to be <laughs> 
you you work a lot you know you work a lot you you go to the um the homes you know to administer your care now i i just want to find out you know there are so many challenges in terms of that you can you can you and uh, some of the 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 challenge is especially let's talk about vaccine non-vaccinated there are lots of our sisters who are in care and most of them due to this um vaccine non-vaccinated some have to lose their job and they maybe they have been in care for like 10 years and i tell you like you said faithful black women mm -hmm. some people would have been in the care industry for over 10 years and then because of covid they lost their job vaccine not vaccinated i'm not gonna get but are we meant to be forced to take the vaccine um naturally we're not meant to be forced to take the vaccination yeah um, as a person uh, because it's our, it's our body yes um, but when it comes to care and this is w another thing that the own care association that we are also telling the government mm. that we're going to lose a lot of our staff mm. the industry is already short staffed wow I mean recent survey says that over 70,000 vacancy and this is not just what the survey is saying I was it again. only in the UK 70,000 70, vacancy wow. the recent survey and this is not just what the survey is saying this is what i see on a regular basis one of our service users was coming back from the hospital and we couldn't accept him accept him back why because we don't have any staff and he had to stay at the hospital or they had to start looking for another organization to support him so this is what i see so government uh, you know every time and even the talk is still ongoing speaking to the government about not forcing um, the carers to take vaccination and majority of people have already left mm. and now there's a discussion over extending it to um, not just care homes but also to because at the moment it is not compulsory as a domiciliary care mm. but it is compulsory in a care in the home, care home and yes. the re reason for that being that you know the early stage that a lot of um, people uh, vulnerable people that unfortunately lost their lives okay. so that's why I believe they started from care homes and now they're looking to extend it to um, domiciliary we can also to within the NHS but there is a talk going on there but the government are aware that the, the, the industry is understaffed and the you know the the, the needs are increasingly growing mm. so there is no way we can meet up demands and it's uh, honestly this is what we do and sometimes even as a registered manager I have to go and do care calls myself because I don't have any staff member to do it um, to do it mm. and I don't want to put my service user in a difficult position so they are aware of this and I, I believe and I'm hoping that they would do something about it because mm. otherwise like, like you've said you're gonna lose a lot of staff that are well dedicated well experienced and they would do anything mm. uh, you know when it comes outside of the body of course for the service user but we're going to lose a lot of staff yes. so the government should you know to think about it again and see all the measures that can be taken I mean some of the measures that we when it comes to infection control and then she look at the statistics as well since the infection control have been ongoing the IPC um, they've been wearing the masks and you know having the PPE on exactly. which has been protecting the service and even user. now we have the um, you know you can this free test kit where yeah, the test antigen kit. test so it, there yeah. are means available now and I believe if, if, if anybody from the NHS England or or ministries or whatever you know whatever you are connected to listening because there are a lot of these black women that they use these monies that they get that they work so hard with or their pensions everything relying on these um work as yes. a carer you know mm -hmm. especially i know a lot of my friends who work in nursing homes they've mm -hmm. been there for five years some eight years six mm -hmm. years seven years and they, it's not like they don't even want to get um educated or promoted or they, they just, just love, love they you know yeah. they just love what they do and it's nothing to do with whether i'm black or yeah. no it's yeah. not some people have had probably all their degrees at home but mm -hmm. since they've been part of the care for Mm -hmm. they just love it they yeah. just love to see someone smile mm -hmm. they just love to see someone's hair done mm -hmm. they just love to go on trips with this person mm -hmm. so I believe that the government should really consider where that force that strict has been placed in nursing homes where now a lot of our sisters have actually lost their jobs so grounding up actually we have just five minutes I know black women in care have loads of fantastic things to offer 
um, black women who are in care so what are those things i've heard of an award some event tell us all about it um so we have a lot of things going on with um, black men in care at the moment but i'll just mention two things and one is about the career in care forum that is coming up in november 26th of november um, it's going to be virtual so wherever you're watching over over the world you can join us uh, but you need to register at www.blackwomenincare.com you go to on the event page and then you register for that particular um, um, event and it's called black women in care forum and that's just one of um, the event that we have the other one that we have in this year is to you know, remember what I said about the care under the A of the care is accolading, accolading accordingly, uh, which is giving accolades to all our fantastic carers, all our fantastic medical staffs or NHS staff that have been working so hard over the years. And that's one of the things that I see that is lacking as well, um, that we don't sort of value, um, or the government or the society don't value what we do as a black woman um, in care. So we want to say, you know, well done. It's just a token of, you know, from us. And we have in our word as well, which is on the 27th of November, which is also going to be virtual and there are different categories when it comes to this award um, but I must say that although the award have closed uh, the nominations have closed but if you're watching and uh, for the sake of renewed show wow. if you're watching and you would like to nominate please go to www.blackwomenincare.com it's going to be open now for in the next 24 hours only I'm going to open it. It's going to be open for the, for the next 24 hours. If you'd like to nominate, it might be your colleague that have been working so hard. So you might not live in the UK. They might live in the UK and they've been telling you how much they've been working so hard. Nominate them. It might be your employer. So we want to, you know, it, you know, there are a lot of, with Black Women Care, we have a lot of directors, people with their own organizations that between them, there are millions of pounds um, that they run in a year. So we might want to say thank you for, you know, it's just, it's just to say, you know, we, that's what we say about people. People, uh, you know to say thank you uh, for all that you do within the community you can nominate them as well so um, you can you can also nominate yourself you can nominate yourself tell us about what you're doing great at your work and you know and even your motivation for even doing that work and uh, on the 27th we will announce the winner of the award and there's lots of um, goodies for you I would say so but that will be kept secret until then so we we'll keep wow that so please then. please please nominate your friends the line is open uniquely because of the renewed show so nominate a friend nominate a black woman who has been working so hard and you know they deserve this award they deserve this award thank you so much so I mean, there are lots of people who message me. Oh, is she also providing jobs at their career fairs? And uh, is there an open um, thing about work? Yes. So please, we'll be we'll be we'll be generating unique code. We need yes. show. So <laughs> we need show code. That's one of the things I forgot to mention. It's also a platform that you can get job opportunities. Yeah. And we're encouraging business owners in the UK. So if you have a if you have a key organization, you can you know put your job up. You know, we have a job portals that you can put your job out and people will be able to apply for jobs because I've been doing a lot of physical um, introduction like oh this person but I, you know that's why we have the job portals there if you want to apply for a job you can put your CV on there and also with the career in care forum that will be recruiters on the day wow um, it's so a physical the, virtual it's going to be virtual virtual that will meeting. be recruiters on the day that will have some time and they will be also be recruiting so you can come and also it's an opportunity for, for them because it's a two-way thing to interview your own employer you know mm. what, what are their values so you're not just you know applying for jobs what are the organizations values mm. does it correlate with your own values with your own so values. and that's what you must discover yourself again wow. so thank then you. let, let's talk about social because if 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 it's all uh, i just want so with you know we have something like um you have a unison or yeah. s of that form which is for everyone some people take insurance and all that within the unison but i want to find out do we have something like that also in black women in care where where they can they, you, um, the members come together and does it cost anything to join and how do people join um, and how do people lastly connect to you so if you want to join us it's free for now um it is free absolutely free you can go on the website 
you know um, build your own page put your own profile there connect with people on the platform mm. but also you can connect with us through our website or through our um, social media pages we are on LinkedIn we are on Facebook we're on Twitter we are also on Instagram just search for black women in care and it will take you straight to our page and you can connect personally with myself I'm happy to receive your email it's olanginka at blackwomenincare.com that's my personal email or you can email info at blackwomenincare.com so if you have any questions so if there are some things that you that you're unclear of if there are some things that you need support with or you might not be it might not even be for yourself it might be for someone that you know just contact me and i will happily answer your questions thank you and also i know i i i, I do have a health background so there are people back home who are like oh are there do you also open up opportunities so i believe some if you need more information on that probably you have to come on there so for opportunities yes. for people that are outside of uk mm -hmm. that's what we're speaking to employers because they can actually have a tier five where you can have you know visa to come and work here but that also depends on the um some of our members that are directors if they want to employ someone um from outside the uk but not just our members alone but also other organizations which is currently ongoing so if you want to speak to me about that as well just email me or like at blackwomenincare.com and i will happily you know i'll be happy to answer all your questions hmm. thank you okay wow 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 what a wonderful um i am i am i'm going away with this it says swat swat analysis if you took nothing from today's program swat analysis ch check analyze your own strength your own weaknesses what are the opportunities and also what are the threats wow thank you so much anybody want to give shout out just quickly before we sign out Is it myself yes please okay um shout out what do i give shout out to i think i would just say shout out to every members of black community care you all are doing so amazing amazing job every day and i see you um you know you you're amazing you're great and you and i will actually before i end with this quote i would like to say shout out to my husband because he is making everything you know you know i wear so many arts and like at the moment now is with the children so shout out to my husband Oluwato Nyarug Dade. Uh, you know i love you um and also to my two girls beatrice and brianna Motilola Amoyolua. well done for being a good girl for mommy and daddy but I will end with this quote and uh, this is one of my favorite quotes and it said that you are blessed when you care at the moment of being careful you will find yourself cared for this is part of the mount and um, the the sermon on the mount and it's said by Jesus Christ mm. and you're blessed when you care at the moment of being careful being full of care mm. you find yourself cared for so thank you very much for having me um yes sister charlotte and for having me at start radio um and for the producers well i'm so grateful to be here thank oh, you thank you so much so everyone we would want to say thank you olayinka we love you thank you so much for taking the time yes yeah, so when you see me on the screens these days be you have to have your ears wide open for job opportunities and all that that is coming up especially if you know a sister who who is interested in caring or you want to find out more all about care and don't forget this weekend there is david douglas um, leadership forum london school of business we need uh, one of the things that we have to invest in is education so yes let's have that high esteem confidence don't be afraid to speak out yes and enjoy your black history band i'll come your way again next week it's gonna be a real banger and you have to look forward to it god bless you love you all and thank you to bye from us today thank you so much thank you bye, bye. Bye.